Hey everyone, welcome back to build a single page application with jQuery and Ajax. In today's lecture what we're going to do is go over the um, two main get and post methods that we use with Ajax and I'll go ahead and show you how I include jQuery into my Express project. So this is my code right here. Um, currently inside of the views directory I have some partials that are included in all of my views. The header partial is actually where I have the, uh, actually it's not in my header, and the footer partial is where I have my jQuery. So here is the CDN from jQuery. For development purposes, we'll just go ahead and use the CDN. Um, if you are using it for production, then you probably want to use something like Bower, or just download the files and install them locally. Um, in any event, this is what allows us to use the jQuery syntax in our project and then what we can do is include a client-side JavaScript file and at that point we can use jQuery inside that file. So if we want to include a file for JavaScript we'll go up to the public directory right click create a new file and we can just call this one ajax.js we'll save that and get rid of that Back here in our footer, we just want to be sure that we include this Ajax file below where jQuery is included. That way we can use jQuery inside of that file. So I'll actually include it below the bootstrap CDN. So we'll just put a comment here and we'll tell it that it's the Ajax JS file. And then we can put a script tag with a source set to and we can just send it to ajax.js and we'll send it back to root which is public okay so what this allows us to do is include the JavaScript file in any of the pages that has the footer uh, included inside of it which in this case is the edit page the index page and the new page and you can see where we've included the footer at the bottom okay so just to make sure that it's working we'll do a uh, alert function we'll say this works and then we will run our server so get Mongo running we'll run no daemon I uh, can't find Express so a little quick let me do a npm install and now we can do a no daemon and it says my server is running on port 3000 so we'll go over here and navigate to here we go localhost 3000 okay so immediately upon getting to localhost 3000 it gives me an alert message that says this works so we know that the JavaScript file is connected now the question is is jQuery working so we can open up the Chrome developer tools with Mac uh, we can use command option J and inside the console or if you're on PC you can use uh, I think it's F12 or control shift I something like that um, now we're inside the console and what we can do is just type the dollar sign and if you see this function AB return yada yada then you know that jQuery is in fact working and if you want you could select like I don't know the unordered list on the page and you can see that it returns two unordered lists here so that's good we know it's working um, at this point, what we want to do is write some jQuery to make an Ajax call to the server and see what it sends back to us. So what I'm going to do is go back to our code and we will get rid of this alert, resave that file, and then down here in the app.js, this is where I have all of my routes, we will send a, a get request to slash todos. And instead of rendering uh, index, what we'll do is we'll send back uh, some JSON. So in order to set this up to where it doesn't screw things up, we can say something like if, um, <laughs> I think it's rec.xhr, I'll have to double check that in a second. And then we can do a res.json. So this is using the response object that we have up here in our callback and instead of using the render function we use a JSON function and this allows us to send back whatever data we have in this case it's the to do's 
that we get back from our to-do query to the database using Mongoose and we're going to send those to-dos um, to the front end via this res.json. So we'll just pass in to-dos here and then we'll say else and basically what we're saying is if the request is an Ajax request then go ahead and send back the to-dos as JSON otherwise if it's just a regular request then render the index page and pass in the to-dos to the EJS uh, templating engine. So if this is all working correctly then over here in our Ajax we can use dollar sign dot get so this is the first of the um, jQuery Ajax methods that we're going to use in this case it's the get request we can send a get request to our API and then whatever we send back with that res.json will be returned to us in the uh, success callback function which we'll see here in a second so get takes some arguments uh, we're gonna pass in the URL so here the first argument is the URL and then we'll have a callback to deal with the data that comes back so the URL in this case we're gonna pass in a string it'll be slash to do's so if we go back to our app.js we can see that we have slash to do's right here so we're sending a get request to slash to do's which is fielded by our app.get slash to do's route inside of app.js and then we want to deal with whatever we get back from the server so we'll pass in a callback here and we'll just call whatever gets uh, sent back to us data and then what we'll do here is throw a debugger in here if you don't know about debugger um, it's just a simple tool that we can use in Chrome developer tools or in any developer tools where we throw a debugger in there it'll freeze the code whenever it hits that line and then we can uh, look at whatever variables are available to us in this case the data variable should be available to us if everything works correctly so I will save this file my other files are saved as well because we're running everything with no daemon it has restarted our server automatically and we can go back here and now if we open up our Chrome developer tools and we refresh the page we actually see uh, the script has been run and we're locked up here this is pause and debugger and now if we go down here and we hit escape we can get our console um, we have some errors in here but don't worry about those I'm just gonna use command K to clear those out and at this point what we want to do is take a look at the data variable so this is data that came back here from the uh, request the get request to slash to do's so we'll look at it and it looks like we have one two three four objects and my guess well I know that those four objects are actually these objects right here these four to do items so if we look at the first one data zero so zero is the first index in the array here it's gonna pull up the entire object so we have our object ID that comes from Mongo and then we have our text property and in this case it's go grocery shopping right there so we could take a look at the rest of them document one or data one rather go to the gym that's our second one and then our third one and our fourth one uh, get some sleep and go to the park those are these here so what we've done is we have sent a get request to the slash to do's route and then in a callback we get the data back from the server the server handles that request here if it's a XHR request which is a um, XML HTTP request so Ajax then we send back JSON otherwise we just go ahead and render the index view with the to-do's uh, variable being passed into the EJS um, so here we had to do sent back to us in this case now it's usable to us under the variable named data and so we can do whatever we want with that data at this point so we're not going to do anything with it I just want to show you how to send that request from the client side to the server side and then get that response back and now we have this data in the client we can do whatever we want with it um, we don't need to use a get request in our application because our initial get request to slash to do's 
gets handled by the EJS compiler. So it actually passes in all this data and renders the view for us without needing to do anything with jQuery. So we're gonna let the server handle that initial request and then for all the requests after that, the post request, the put request, and the delete request, we're gonna go ahead and do those with Ajax. But just so you get uh, a comprehensive list of all the methods you can use, uh, I want to include .get in this video. So the next thing we want to do is take a look at the .post method.